On the western terminus of the Trans-Canada Trail of Vancouver Island, we'll head eastward up to the roundabout and the Hammond Road Trailhead, which was the old Canadian National Railway line joining Lake Cowichan to Victoria, B.C. Lake Cowichan's within the Cowichan Valley Regional District, and these people maintain the Cowichan Valley Trail within their jurisdiction. Before recent upgrades to the trail, the trailhead for the Canadian Trail was here at Pine Street. So we carry on eastward and the uh, first place we come to as a favor with the locals is 72 mile trestle over a creek. This trail is a little bit rough because it hasn't been upgraded for some years uh, if you're cycling. This is the main crossing of the Cowichan River on this line. It's called uh, Mile 70 and one of its identifiable redeeming features is it has laybys on it for uh, what were formerly used for barrels. This is a, a rebuild of the original bridge which has a steel truss supports underneath it. Looking upstream on the Cowichan River there. Carrying on eastward, the trail gets a little smoother here until we arrive at uh, Scott's Falls Road, which is gravel, and the trail becomes single track at this point. We carry on the next road crossing we're coming to is Mayo Road, after, named after the Mayo Lumber Company in Mayo Singh. And it is paved. Uh, which makes it a uh, favorite for some cyclists who don't particularly like cycling on gravel. This little section down to the river is still gravel and we come to the crossing of the Cowichan River at Scuts Falls on Mail Road Bridge. That's my Norco Hybrid there. I have my GoPro on the top of the handlebars and a GPS on the back. Looking upstream, we see there's Scuts Falls up there and uh, the rapids. Of course, this all had to be forded in the old days. You had to bypass all that. From Mayo Bridge up to the new Cowichan Valley Trail, this is Mayo Road uphill. It's a 177 meter gain, which is over 500 feet. Interesting place to stop for lunch on the way is at uh, Mayo Dam also named after the Mayo family. Once we leave Mayo Dam, we're going to continue on northward and then turn westward down the Cowichan Valley Trail which has just been newly resurfaced as you can see. It's in great shape, it's a marvelous resource. There's not a lot of redeeming features to see along the trail but uh, the condition of it is good. Here's a little slough here. Stop and took a look at. Unlike parts of the Trans Canada Trail, which as you'll see in our line, this is the CPR or Esquimalt Nanaimo radio line. It has uh, a lot of houses built along it and uh, it's not that far from the road on our right hand side from this view which would be north. And here we come to the end of the trail at uh, Greendale or Grendel Road in the township of Lake Cowichan. And on this particular day they had the actual official opening ceremony 
Tom Patterson and Brian Farquhar were there. And then we carried on over the whole CPR, e and Nelson Street Bridge. It's a dedicated uh, multiple use equestrian, cyclist, and pedestrian bridge now. And after a one kilometer ride back from uh, Grindale, we arrived back at the western kiosk at the western terminus of the Trans-Canada Trail. So I hope you enjoyed the ride and thanks for coming along.